Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the DIYGuy.net. Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to install or replace a three-way dimmer switch. Uh, this is your standard rotary dimmer switch. Um, it has the on-off function here, which works and doesn't work sometimes, so that's why we're replacing it. So we chose to go with a Lutron. Uh, this one looks like a regular toggle switch, which is nice. It'll match the rest of the switches in the house, but it's got the little slide on the side, which does your dimmer. Uh, this one's also nice because it does single pole or three-way. Uh, ours is a three-way because we have a light switch on the other side of the room. And it's also nice because it does all the bulb types. Uh, your LED, CFLs, halogen, and incandescents. You want to make sure you pair your dimmer with whatever bulb you're running. Most of these older rotary ones only work with incandescent bulbs, and that's what's in our fixture now. So we're going to use this dimmer, and we also want to upgrade our light. So for our light bulb, we're going to use the Cree LED 100 watt. You want to make sure that somewhere on your light bulb it does say dimmable. Very important to make sure that the light bulb is dimmable when you're using a dimmer switch. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So to get started we'll just pull the knob off, set that aside. Go ahead and get our flat screwdriver and remove the cover plate. Now we got that out. You can see how sloppy it is. So we're going to go ahead and grab a Phillips screwdriver or a drill and remove those two screws so we can pull the switch from the wall. Tell this is an older dimmer switch because it doesn't have a ground hook to it. Alright, so when you get the switch pulled from the wall, you're going to notice you have two red wires, or two similar colored wires, and one black wire. So the black wire here is your common wire, and these two are your travelers, the red. So when you grab your new switch, whether you have pigtails like this or actually screw terminals like this, you're going to notice you still got that one screw that's a different color. Uh, sometimes they're black, sometimes they're copper color like this, and we got our two brass screws. So the two brass screws will take the two traveler wires, in this case it will be red, and the black wire, which is our common, will go under the copper color screw. Uh, colors don't matter, you need to know which is the common one. Uh, sometimes it's labeled on the side, it'll say black wire is used as a common. So if your three-way dimmer does not have different colored wires or no labeling or writing on it and no different colored screw terminal, uh, the way you want to test out for your common wire is to undo these wire nuts, remove the dimmer switch, separate the wires out so they can't touch, grab a 110 test meter, turn the breaker back on, you want to test each wire individually to see which one has power all the time. Now, in this case it would be the black one, which is our com wire. So that's going to be our com wire on the master switch. Now if we were on the other side of the room on the slave switch, we want to do the same thing, remove the wire nuts, remove the dimmer, separate them out so they can't touch, turn the power back on, use our test meter, test each one. As we're testing it, we want to turn the main switch on the other side of the room on or off and see which wire does not get power at all. That'll be your common wire on the slave switch and that wire goes up to your light. So now we can go ahead and remove the switch from the wall, now that we know our common wire is the black wire in this case. Go under the wire nuts and remove the old broken dimmer switch. Now since our new dimmer has a ground, we're going to fish the ground wire out of the box so we can connect that as well. Alright, so we'll grab our new dimmer switch. Uh, this one's also nice because it's got the little stabs where you can just push the wires into the back of it. Uh, sometimes you have to tighten the screws to hold it, some you don't. I always like to tighten them just to make sure it's they're farther in away from the edge of the box so they can't short out. So we know our common wire in this case was the black, and we're going to put it under the copper colored screw. You want to make sure you have enough stripped in so it actually grips. Test it. We'll tighten the screw down. We're just going to put the red on top. Make sure it's locked in. Tighten the screw. The white on the other side. Make sure it's in there nice and tight and snug. Tighten down the screw. 
Now this dimmer has a ground, so we'll go ahead and hook that up next. Should be your bare or copper colored wire in the box. Make sure your wire nut's on there nice and tight. All right, so now that we got our three wires and our ground hooked to our new switch, before we put it back inside the box, we're gonna turn the breaker on and test the switch. So we'll come upstairs, flick it on on this side, turn it off on the other side of the room and vice versa a couple times. We'll also test it to make sure it dims properly. Uh, be careful not to touch any of the leads as they will be hot. Uh, once it's functioning correctly and you wired it properly, you can go ahead and shut the power back off and then tuck the wires inside the box and reinstall the switch into the box. All right, we'll start with the ground wire. We'll tuck that way in the back. Go ahead and make sure the other wires don't get pinched. Push it in. Start the screws by hand. Then we'll grab our Phillips screwdriver and snug them down. Check around as you're tightening it down to make sure you don't pinch any wires. Center it in the box. All right, now that we got the switch reinstalled back into the box and snug down, we can grab our cover plate and install that. So now that we got our cover plate on and snug down tight, we can go ahead and turn the breaker back on. We'll test the functionality of the switch, make sure it turns on over here, off over there, make sure it dims as it should. Uh, this one does. So that's it, we just showed you how to install or replace a three-way dimmer switch. Thanks for watching another episode of the DIYguide.net. If you just finished building you the subscribe button, click that to get our latest DIY fixes delivered right to you. If you just finished building you the what's next button, you can click that and we'll help you figure out what you want to fix next. You can also click the link in the description which takes you to our website for a full write-up.